Hey, black holes are massive objects in space with gravity so strong that it pulls everything inside. And normally nothing escapes it, not even light. Although being invisible to the eye, black holes can contain mass more than million times our sun and whole galaxies are formed around them. There is a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy too. Do you know what it's called? Let us know in the comments or stay tuned for the answer. Besides, how did black holes came into existence? The concept of black hole was proposed by Albert Einstein in his theory of general relativity. Inside a typical star, fusion reactions take place in which hydrogen atoms fuse together to form helium. The radiation and heat from this reaction generates an outward force which balances the inward gravitational force of the star's core. Hence, the star stays balanced. But what happens when all the hydrogen is exhausted? First, the fusion reactions will stop and so will the outward forces generated by it. Now, gravity being the dominant force left will start compressing the mass of the star in a very small volume of space forming either a white dwarf, neutron star or a black hole depending on the initial mass of the star. We know now that light cannot escape black holes. But how does that happen? Light is the fastest thing in the universe. Well, we can understand this phenomena by a very simple example. Let's say there is a planet Alpha with mass m, radius 6500 km and an escape velocity of 11 km per second. Escape velocity is the minimum velocity that should be obtained by an object to overcome the gravitational forces of a planet and move to outer space. Suppose if you are on planet Alpha and want to go to space, then your rocket would need to attain the speed of 11 km per second in order to escape Alpha's gravity. Now if we compress Alpha's mass such that its radius becomes 65 km, then its escape velocity would be around 100 km per second. And if we compress it further to a very small radius of 1 inch, then it would have an escape velocity of higher than 300,000 km per second or more than the speed of light. Which means at this point even light would not be able to escape this planet's gravity. Since light is the maximum speed that can be achieved in the universe, that means nothing will escape this planet at this point, as our planet Alpha would now have turned into a black hole. In theory, anything can be turned into a black hole of any size if we compress it dense enough. For example, sun compressed to the size of a small town will turn into a black hole, earth compressed to the size of a golf ball or a golf ball compressed to the size of a proton will eventually become a black hole. Which means the denser a large mass is packed, the more gravitational force it would have. This same densely packed region at the core of a black hole is called a singularity and the threshold around it is called the event horizon. Outside the event horizon, you can still feel the gravity of the black hole, but once it is crossed, there is no return. It's also kind of the edge between what we know and what we don't, because the laws of physics tend to get blurry beyond the event horizon. Since light gets trapped in it, an isolated black hole is by definition black and invisible. So the question is, if they are invisible, how do you find them? Well, the simple answer is, you don't. An isolated black hole could be anywhere and you won't be able to find it. However, black holes are often part of binary or multi-star systems where they suck material from other stars. So, their positions can be figured out by observing the movements of the other planets or stars in their vicinity. This is the first ever image of a black hole taken in April of 2017. Well, it's not exactly the black hole's image since a black hole is invisible, but it's an image of its shadow. This supermassive black hole is located at the center of the galaxy Messier 87 and has a mass of 6.5 billion times our sun. Yes. 6.5 billion times. Uh, that's mind-boggling. Our whole galaxy could probably fit inside it. Similarly, a 4 million solar mass supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A star is also present at the center of our galaxy Milky Way. The central black region we see here is the event horizon. 
while this outer glowing region is composed of the gases heated by the black hole's gravity. This asymmetry in brightness is due to the black hole's rotation. As black holes are formed from stars which are rotating, they maintain their rotational momentum even after the star's death. Black holes can rotate at tremendous speeds, sometimes reaching 0.8 times the speed of light, which is nearly 240,000 km per second. This black hole is rotating in such a way that the low region of the gas has its direction towards us, and therefore the radiation coming to us gets boosted and looks brighter while the upper layer of the gas is moving away. That's why it looks dimmer. Black holes are very good engines. Yeah, you heard it right. Engines. Which means they convert mass into radiant energy very efficiently. To give you an estimate, sun is million times efficient than our traditional energy sources on the earth. Sun and other stars are in themselves less than 1% efficient. However, a black hole generates energy at an efficiency of 40%, which is E is equals to mc square at 40%. We can only just imagine how much energy would that be and what could happen if we can harness it. Besides, there are many more mysteries about black holes that need to be solved. Till then, it remains the edge between what we know and what is possible. With that said, thanks for watching and if you liked the video, then do subscribe Science of Science. Stay curious, see you next time.